going on everybody welcome back to another video and today i want to do my first impressions on the resident evil 4 remake i was super excited for this game upon release matter of fact i made a resident evil 4 retrospective i'll probably put a top of this video here just kind of going back to the original i played it all the way through and i because i wanted the full-on story because it's been years since i played the game and i never to be honest with you, this is the only Resident Evil I've never really actually tried to get into. I ever since, like, for some reason, when the game came out. So the game came out in like 2005. Um, I think I was like 10 years old at the time, and I thought the village sequence was just way too hard for me. Like, I just could not beat this village sequence, and it was just getting really, really aggravating for a young Dylan because I, <laughs> I wasn't, I wasn't great at video games. Still not. I wouldn't say that I'm like great at games. I love to game, but I'm not great at them. So, going into this one, um, I was pretty well uh, versed in it because I went back and played Resident Evil 4, the original from 2005, and I loved it. I fell in love with the game. Now that I've played a bunch of games, I've gotten better at games. The tank controls didn't bother me. Um, I had a lot of fun with it. I didn't think the story was anything crazy, um, and I'm not going to sit here and act like it's one of the greatest games of all time, but I do know what this game did for third-person shooters, and for that it's pretty freaking awesome. I also went back and played Resident Evil 5. And I do plan to do a video on that uh, sometime in the future. Probably maybe after I do the Resident Evil 4 remake review. Today I want to do first impressions. I put 10 hours into the game and I wanted to kind of give my thoughts on it. I'll probably have some gameplay up here and there. Um, by the way, some light spoilers. The first few hours of the game. I've been taking my time with this one, man. I've done a lot of side content. Um, looting. A lot of, lot of treasure. Uh, hunting and things like that so i've been taking my time i'm 10 hours in i think i'm on chapter six or seven so i'm still fairly early on um i haven't even really got to the castle portion of the game so if you are not into spoilers just like you know there will be some in this video but it'll be light stuff and it's not even in the real meat and potatoes of the game matter of fact i just beat the first official boss is it mendez i believe um i just beat him and i might have that boss battle in the video i don't know um, so future Dylan, you can make that choice. Uh, anyway, so let's talk about Resident Evil 4. Now here, I got a physical copy. I bought, I bought the digital deluxe version on PS5 as well. Um, what I've been doing is I've been, if I really, really support a game, I buy it twice. I buy one physical and one digital. I do that mostly because now that I'm financially sound where I can do that, um, not to say I'm filthy rich because I'm, trust me, I'm not, especially in this economy. Um, but I am uh, uh, financially stable enough that I buy two copies of the game, one physical, one digital. The digital so I can have it at midnight and in physical because I, I just like a physical collection and I probably always will. So here's my physical copy of Resident Evil 5, Resident Evil 4, excuse me, uh, remake, probably never be open. And that's where we will leave that. So anyway, let's get into Resident Evil 4 remake. Listen, this game, I'm going to tell you right now, dude. Um, you know, and if you want to click off the video now, uh, that's fine. Um, I appreciate the view. Um, if you like the, if you just, if you wouldn't mind leaving a like and subbing to the channel on your way out, I'd really appreciate it. But I'm gonna talk a lot of good things about this remake. I'm really, really, really having a lot of fun with it. And honestly, I'm not surprised. Dude, Capcom, for the most part, with the exception of Resident Evil 3 Remake, they put a lot of time and passion into their titles. And going into this one, I knew that they were gonna probably bring out the big guns because Resident Evil 4 is noted as one of the greatest uh, installments in the franchise. So I expected them to put their best foot forward in this remake. And it really shows, man. It is so stinking immersive, dude. I say stinking because I'm trying to watch my cousin. <laughs> Um, it is really, really immersive, man. I mean, just from that, just from that initial sequence, you know, where the game lets you say, Hey, take the reins. You start out in the woods and you're walking to that first cabin and you're about to talk to the first Ganado. And it's so immersive the way Leon moves. Um, you know, obviously you can't access your weapon yet, but it's just it's so eerie. And you have like the dead deer with his guts all tore open. I think it's a deer or a pig or something. Uh, when you come across it um, at the very beginning, you go inside the Ganado's house and it's very eerie looking at it. The, you know, the shadows are really brought to, brought to light, I guess you could say. Um, just a very... Resident Evil 4 was, was the start of things getting kind of wacky and zany, you know, with, as far as the action and stuff. But you could really feel the horror um, full force right here and 
go down these creepy hallways, the house looks like deserted, and then you come across the first Ganado. And it's such a cool sequence. Um, you didn't get to play this part, which is you know, kind of a weird move. I don't. I wouldn't say that I didn't like it, but uh, when you come across first Ganado in the original game, you do you do actually have to kill it yourself. I kind of would have preferred that, but you do come across it later on. You, they have a cutscene. Leon hits him with a spinning back kick, knocks him down, and then you go down in the basement because you hear some screaming, and then you uh, the Ganado gets back to life with his head all turned sideways, and and then you have to fight him there. So and and it's a lot tougher of an encounter because. If you don't kill the enemy fast enough, they kind of can turn, like morph into this stronger enemy type, and uh, which is a nice little change to the remake. Atmosphere works in this game to its full potential. I think the atmosphere is so good, and so and and far surpasses the original. And that's not the and that's the thing. If I'm a, if I say that between now and then my full on review, I'm not shitting on the original. I really, really like the original. Matter of fact, I, 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 it's one of my favorite games I've finished this year for sure. Like so far, like you think about all the games that have come out, and I have enjoyed Resident Evil Four, uh, the original, more than most games. I enjoyed it more than Dead Space Remake, you know, which I'm a Resident Evil guy, so I'm kind of biased here. Dead Space Remake is phenomenal. I just put that out there, and I got a review for that on the channel as well, so check that out. But the atmosphere, man, really brings me back, along with the gameplay, and that's where. A lot of my love for this, you know, comes from is the gameplay. Dude, the gameplay loop is so, I'm going to cuss, sorry. It's so goddamn fun. Dude, it's so good. The, the, the gameplay is so immersive. The guns feel so good. Every weapon you use actually feels like it's doing some actual damage. And that was one thing that I had an issue with the original uh, version game was that some of the guns felt a lot less powerful than the others. Like... I, I like I use my the red nine a lot the handgun and I put the stock on it so it's more of like a like a, a semi-automatic uh, pistol and uh, I, I'm actually just got that upgrade for my red nine in the remake but I used that I thought that was great and I saw past pretty much any handgun in the game now, I don't know that for the remake yet I'll have to kind of go back to this in my in my uh, my actual review but uh like I felt like in the original like if you went from the normal 12 gauge shotgun and then you upgrade it to the the riot gun, I believe. I thought the riot gun was trash in the original. And I had that bitch upgraded, like, fully. And I felt like I wasn't doing nearly as much damage. And the 12 gauge just had a better blast radius and just felt more powerful. Again, I don't know if that's for the remake or not. I just noticed that in the original. But all the weapons feel powerful. The reload animations. Oh, my God. The reload animations are so damn good. When you see in Leon, and he's, like, individually putting a round in the rifle. Like you and you see it, you see his fingers curling up while he's putting each round in the rifle. And I just, man, I was like, dude, that is so gosh dang good, man. I mean, like that is, that's Red Dead Two level. You know what I'm saying? And if you guys have been watching me for a while, I freaking love Red Dead Two. That's one of my favorite games of all time. Like, uh, arguably one of my favorite games of all time. Top five for sure, and it's in the top three. It, Last of Us is pretty far. But it's like Red Dead, Last of Us, Last of Us, Red Dead, I don't know. You know what I mean? It can change any given day. Um, but, dude, the, the the reload animations are so gosh dang good. Shotgun, you see him reloading the shells manually. Um, and it's accurate. You know, one thing about the original was, like, let's say if your shotgun could hold, like, 18 rounds, <laughs> which is nuts, but it can hold 18 rounds, like... You, the reload animation was Leon putting like two shells in the shotgun and then boom, it was done. Um, obviously, you know, it was back in the day and they were limited on their resources and what they could really do. Um, but it's a nice touch. I love stuff like that. Leon looks great. The character models look great. Um, I just met Ashley uh, within my last playthrough. I played for about two or three hours. Um, just met Ashley in this one. Uh, way less annoying. It actually seems like she has some depth to her character. Um, so I'm excited to see what they go into. Uh, Lewis, you see him a little bit. And he's very quippy, just like he is in the game. But he's definitely more like leveled out, more realistic. The way he way he's talking and stuff seems like him and Ada are definitely uh, coming across each other a bit more. So speaking of which, Ada, I've only seen her like twice. One where she was pretty much saving your ass from Mendez. Another one where it's a cutscene with Lewis and Ada. And um, I like her look. I like it. I, I prefer it. You know, in the original game, she's like wearing this dress the whole time. And I know, you know, I get it for the times. Um, but I liked her look here. I'm not really sold on the voice actor, though. I don't know. 
Um, which again brings me to another thing, and and you know I don't know if this is really you know how much of a negative this is, but I mean you know, it's a pretty big one. You know when you have the merchant, the merchant is one of the most memorable characters in the entire Resident Evil franchise, and I felt like he's a bit watered down here. I feel like the voice actor doesn't completely get the full essence of the merchant, which is a little depressing. But I still think it's damn good. Um, I, it's not as good as the original in that re in that regard. But it's still pretty good. And and then brings me to the titular character of Leon, you know. I love the voice actor for Leon. I loved it in Re Resident Evil 2 Remake. And I'm definitely going back and playing that shit again. You know, <laughs> for sure. You know what I mean? Um, but yeah, Leon is, is uh, he's so damn likable. Cheesy as hell. And honestly, t to me, like, I don't miss the old voice actor. I think this guy does a damn good job. I've seen a review saying that he's not as good as the original. I don't know, dude. I, I think he's pretty much the same, if not a little bit better. I just prefer this version of Leon, um, in my opinion. And he's a badass, and it's, it's a lot of fun to play. And speaking of that, and that leads me to my next thing. I know I'm kind of jumping alert of place because I want to try to wrap this video up because it's more of like first impressions uh, video after 10 hours. But... I'm playing on PS5. Um, there was a PS5 glitch, and you'll see in some of the gameplay where if you look at the bottom right, you'll see like uh, like green, red, and blue bubbles pop up at the bottom right. Uh, it's some kind of visual glitch. I had to turn off motion blur. I, mean, I turned motion blur on, I think, and depth of field off, and it stopped it. I know they're working on a patch for that, but that was like the only real glitch I had. But as far as the PS5 capabilities go, the game looks freaking fantastic on PS5, and the haptics are really awesome. They're so immersive. You can feel it every time you reload your shotgun. You, there's tension in the triggers. I love that. Like at first, it was kind of I was kind of struggling with it, and my aim was terrible on PS5 when I first started. But after I got the hang of it, and I tightened up my sticks, I'm using a Dual Sense Edge, so that helped out a little bit. Um, but man, the haptics is super immersive and makes you feel like it, it just adds to the experience. And that's what this game is. It's a freaking experience, and I'm having a lot of fun with it. So. That's my first impression. So far, I don't see many things wrong with it. Like I said, the visual glitch, that was one little little uh, hiccup there. But everything else feels good. All the guns feel good. The gameplay is awesome. Gameplay, gameplay, gameplay is awesome. The freaking, the atmosphere, the visuals, just seeing the wooded areas and the caves and the things that I've had to do so far, um, it, it really is magnificent. The, the water uh, physics in the game when you're fighting uh, the Lago monster, um, I mean, great. I mean, everything is just, it's so top-notch, man. This this is, this is truly is a next-gen experience. And it's a damn shame it came out on PS4 as well. And I'm sorry for you PS4 user, PS4 users. I love you guys, but I wish this game was next-gen only because I could only imagine. But, but, this game is truly next-gen. The way it looks and the way it plays, this is, this is next-gen. The gun designs, the character models. The environments, the tension, so much tension. This this is truly, truly a next gen game. AI is not the best. I will say in the village sequence, they're kind of dumb, but I will say you get swarmed really quick. So it's kind of like I'm kind of half and half on that. But uh, other than that, man, look, it's damn near perfect right now. Um, these are my first impressions. I'll I'll do a review here in the in the uh, coming weeks or so, and, and maybe my opinion will change a little bit. But tell me, what are your thoughts on Resident Evil 4 remake? Let me know down in the comments below. Let's talk about it. Um, if you like this video, if you wouldn't mind leaving a like on this video and subbing to the channel for more Resident Evil content. I plan to do a Resident Evil 5 review, like a retrospective, as well as a Resident, Resident Evil 4 remake uh, review on the channel. And I may even do Resident Evil 2, Resident Evil 3. I don't know. It just depends on how much time I have and, and what is all out. You know, because as you know, there's a couple good releases coming out in the coming weeks. But um, yeah, let me know your thoughts down in the comments section. And I uh, hope you guys enjoyed the video. And with that being said, we'll see you next one. Stay dead now.